Hello my fellow Brickheads, it is I, Galaxy of Bricks here, and welcome to a, another LEGO video. Now, I know it has been a couple of weeks since I have done a LEGO video, and apologies for that, I've just been really, really, really busy with my, um, with my day job, and... Today's video is actually something a little bit different. It is a Lego set review, but it is a Lego set review of something not related to Lego Star Wars. I know, it's scary, isn't it, to think that Galaxy of Bricks is doing something non-Star Wars related on his YouTube channel. And for those of you who don't know, I'm actually um, a Marvel and DC Lego um, DC fan as well as a Star Wars fan, and... Somebody who means an awful lot to me and somebody who I cannot thank enough for helping me have the confidence to do this uh, Lego channel and do my Lego videos and somebody who has been my biggest supporter and also my biggest fan came up with the idea that I should branch out and show off my love of my not only Lego love but also my love of other things within the Lego sphere that I really like. So, thank you. You've given me a genius idea. So, who that person is, I'm not going to say, but they know who they are if they're watching this video. And today is actually going to be two set reviews in one. And we are going to be looking at these two sets. Now, we've got set number 76141, which is the Thanos mech from the Lego Avengers. And we've also got set number 76140 from um, the Lego Avengers, and that's the Iron Man mech. Now, um, just to give you a little bit of context, these two sets were released in 2020, so they are um, still relatively easy to come and find, but you will pay a little bit more for them. They have been discontinued on the Lego store, but you can get them on Amazon, which is where I got them from. You can get them on eBay, you can get them on Britlink, things like that. Now, for those of you who have seen um, Avengers and you've seen Iron Man and, you know, you are familiar with some of these characters within the um, Marvel sub-theme, will know that Lego ideas for these sets are amazing. They've got some really crazy crazy ideas that they have come up with and i thought the mechs themselves were actually a really interesting kind of take i mean they're not based on a specific um scene or a specific point within the marvel cinematic universe they're actually based upon sort of a creative freedom shall we say within lego and that's what drew me to them which is the fact that i'm not a big fan of the lego sets themselves within the marvel sphere but i like the mechs because they actually do slot in rather nicely with my lego collection and to kick things off i thought we'll start with the big bad of the whole avengers saga which is thanos now We'll start things off with the character himself. Now, this is the Lego Thanos, but this is the minifigure scale version because every version of Thanos that they have released up until I picked this up has actually been a big figure. So what that effectively means is it's a large, bulky minifigure, but effectively hopped up on steroids and it looks huge. For those of you who have got like Hulk or you have got some of the other sub themes where these are similar, you know what I mean? It's effectively like a three, I think it's like a three and three quarter inch sort of style minifigure with similar articulation, but like 10 times the size of a minifigure. That's the only version of Thanos that we've come across until we got this one. And I think it's a really nice figure. I love the sil the the gold and the blue. They contrast each other very nicely. The helmet piece is fantastic. It looks really, really, really in keeping with the character who is played by Josh Brolin in the movies. And you can just imagine if Thanos was voiced by Josh Brolin, it would be a really intimidating character. And... This is the headpiece you get with Thanos, and he's got that really angry kind of, you know, he's about to try and snap his fingers and destroy the universe. And I like the fact that they've gone for the nice purple hue. It's really in keeping with his character because 
Thanos is actually bald in all the movies and all the comics and all the media. And I like the colour of his eyes. I like the cheekbones. I like the fact that they've tried to stick as close to his standard Marvel Cinematic character as well as keeping it within a minifigure scale. And I think this is a really nice Thanos. And if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a big Marvel set and you just want to have a Thanos... This is a really nice set, and I mean, like I say, he's really cool. I like it. I think he will look really cool on display with his Mac next to my ATAT, or say my ATST Raider and my ATST, and I think that's going to just balance out my collection really nicely. And then we move on to the Mech itself, which I must admit I'm actually quite surprised at. Really, this is the Thanos Mech, which. Thanos doesn't actually need to use something like this because he's so powerful. He has a vast army of minions and henchmen and various things like that. So I just think the creativity they've come up with to come up with a set like this, which is very, very, very different, but kind of still in keeping with the characters, fantastic. You know, I mean, again, it's blue and gold. It's got a lot of articulation, so you've got all the sort of the ball points in the legs and the hips and stuff, you know, you can bend it, you can use it for a lot of different things, it's got, you know, claws, these, these like claw pieces for the hands, you know, it's a really nice, just different take on a figure, isn't it? And I think what I like about it is, for the piece count you get for this whole, for this Thanos set in particular is actually really good. I think it's 152 pieces for the Thanos one. And it's um, very well used. I mean, you've got sort of like the, the harness pit, which you can lower here. And what you can do is, if you really wanted to, you could lower that down. And then you can slot your Thanos in like that. I'll just pop its arms down. And then, see what I mean? You've got Thanos in his mech. And he's about to go and try and stop the Avengers and stop the um, the good guys from all the movies from stop, um, from his plans and things like that. And what really struck me and I thought was a really cool, unique um, twist on this character in particular was the fact that if you look at his hand, I'll just zoom in a little bit on the camera for you, Lego have actually given you the opportunity to use the mech as um, the Infinity Gauntlet, which for those of you who are familiar with the movies and the comics and all the Mar um, Marvel-related media will know that the Infinity Gauntlet is one of the most powerful things in the known universe. And I love the fact that they've given it to us as a mech, you know, so you can sort of use this as a way of having massive battles with your character and you've got just a really nice display piece as well. And I mean, this originally when it released in 2020 was about 8 99 I got it for a little bit more than that because it's not in full production anymore. You're going to get like second or third hand ones. Um, and uh, yeah, I must admit, it was this Thanos that actually drew me to the max. My godfather, his little boy, I got him this for Christmas um, a couple of years ago and I thought it was cool and he loves it and he was a really big fan of this and I thought he's got one. Once I've kind of got some more Lego sets that I wanted, I'll get one for myself and that's Thanos and I really like the Thanos. I think it's fantastic. So we highly recommend that if you love Marvel or you want something cool for your collection that's different, get the Thanos because it's the mech just kind of pops really nicely and the colours are fantastic, the articulation's good, great, solid overall character to have. And then secondly, we've got everyone's favourite um, Marvel hero, or at least mine anyway. Um, you have got Iron Man, which is played by the incredible Robert Downey Jr. in all the movies and on all the related media. Um, now... These two blue things in his hands are meant to mimic his, um, his, when Iron Man takes off, he uses like the jet, the jet engines and all the arc reactors in his hands and his feet to shoot himself up in the air. So for playability, they give you the option to use these to, as you can imagine, just shoot Iron Man up in the air. And it's a nice addition. And you also get, um, 
Robert Robert Downey Jr. As we know, does play Iron Man and is a very good likeness. Actually, I think they've managed to pick out in Lego form. So that's his normal face, where you know he's going day to day. And then at the back, if I turn it around, you've also got his kind of his heads up display, his um, his in atmosphere when he uses. I think briefly in the movies, and then he's also you know when he's on um, communication to Jarvis and he's looking at his heads up display. They give that version of his head, and that's really good. The only disappointment I've got with it is. You don't get a second hairpiece with the um, the Iron Man figure, but there's so many versions of Iron Man out there, and there's so many different versions of um, Tony Stark out there that you probably will get hair pieces a dime a dozen. So I don't think it's much of an issue. Would have just been a nice touch for something like this. The overall style of the figure as well, I really like. I think there's, like I say, there's so many different versions of Iron Man in... Um, the films, the games, the media, and just in Lego form, that I don't have a particular favourite. I like this one just because it's the first Iron Man I've ever actually owned. I've never actually been a big collector of Lego Marvel, like I say, but I've got this Iron Man because I really like the mech that comes with him, and I figured, why not start with just an individual one before I decide if I want to collect Marvel? Um, but yeah, the detailing's really good. The red, the gold, the um, the arc reactor on his chest... You've got really nice back printing as well, which is very in keeping with his character. Um, great, great overall. I really like I. I really like Iron Man. I think Iron Man is possibly one of my top, maybe one of my top two favorite heroes within the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Maybe my top three because I'm also a massive Black Panther and um, I'm also a massive Doctor Strange fan. So those are like an Iron Man is easily within my top three. And having an Iron Man in my collection that isn't going to look out of place with my Star Wars minifigures, I'm really happy with. And then we move on to the actual Iron Man mech as well. And whilst the technique for building the Iron Man mech is similar to the Thanos one, as you can see, the overall display is completely different. So whereas obviously the Thanos one is um, gold and blue, it's got the Infinity Gauntlet as a hand, it's got um, a lot more bulk in parts of it, this one is a lot more streamlined, it's a lot more skeletal, you've got the um, sort of similar to his minifigure, you've got like sort of these blue these blue pieces which are meant to signal sort of the mech shooting up in the air and it's all for his jet flight and things like that, you've got the Gauntlet gloves as well, but in a larger mech version. You've got some sticker pieces um, for the uh, for the chest as well, and you've got the body harness as well, which you can fit Iron Man into, which I'm going to try and do. Um, so again, that's what the Iron Man looks like, and I think that looks really cool, actually. I think that's quite unique. And then I'll just give you some detailing on the back as well. So that's like the arm print, and so there's one on each side. So you get one there. And then you've got the um, you've got this goldy coloured one as well, and they look fantastic. Um, and then the feet, you get the jet, um, sort of like the blue jet piece as well, which goes very well. And I think for my first Marvel um, set that I actually own, I'm quite happy that I've got a Thanos and a um, Iron Man because if you watch the movies, you'll see that Tony Stark and Thanos have key moments within the Infinity, um, you know, Endgame and Infinity War and things like that. And to have them as mechs where they can fight each other and you can do a lot of things with them creatively goes very, very well. And I, I love that. I love the fact that Lego have given a bit of variety to it because you can get him in like, you know, other sets where there's like the Hulkbuster and there's his Chamber of Armour and there's other sets as well. But just to have them as a display piece, like, what I'm going to do is have them on display is really nice as well. I mean, you get fewer pieces with Iron Man. I think you get 131 pieces. And this is set number 761414 um, 14, um, 140. The um Thanos one is 14 is 141. Um, but there's an interesting bit. You know what? Obviously, my thoughts are on stud shooters in Lego Star Wars, they provide you with something similar in um, this one as well. So you see this piece here, it's kind of like a 
stud shooter cannon. So you, what you do is you would push this forward with a little bit of force. So I'm not going to do it for the video, but what you would do is you would push it forward with the force and it would shoot out and it shoots out like a disc horizontally. So you could easily have this shoot against your Thanos and it just shoots across. I mean, you get about five or six blue studs as well. So if you do lose some, you've got plenty to play around with. Um, overall though i absolutely love so these are the two together and i mean you can't tell me that that doesn't look cool i mean you've got your thanos you know looking the big bad of the mcu which is how we all know him you've got tony stark the genius inventor and co like you know founder of the avengers initiative everyone's one of um cinema's greatest um superheroes up there with like Spider-Man and Batman and Superman and things like that. Played by a fantastic actor, you know, and I mean, these do struggle to stand. So you will have to find ways of getting them to pose and things like that. I mean, the Iron Man one, not so much, but the Thanos one, I struggle to pose with. And overall, for these two mechs, I'm just absolutely in awe at them. I think because it's something that I've never had or something that I've used a lot of in my collection, I just absolutely love them. And I would highly recommend, if you're a massive superhero fan and you have a small child who loves Lego, to pick them up as well because they're great. I mean, both of these sets are rated at about 6+. Plus. Um, so if they're starting off a collection, they're a very good addition to have for a um, small child. I mean, you can carry these around in a backpack. You can carry them around in a bag. They aren't too cumbersome. They're not relatively hard to build. I mean, I built both of these together within about 30 minutes, if that. So, you know, I mean, if you don't want to keep the mechs, you've at least got the minifigures and you can, like, you know, have the mechs without the characters, which still works very well. And I mean, I'm going to keep these on display as they are with Iron Man and Thanos um, in the mechs like, like this. So I'm going to have mine on display on my shelf like that. And they're not going to look out of place with my Lego Star Wars, which is what I like. I was... A bit unsure because I didn't know if it blended with my collection, but these actually work in very well. <laughs> so we are coming to the end of the video, guys. I know it's not my usual thing, but I just thought it'd be really good based on the recommendation of somebody very dear to me to try something a little bit different. And I hope it has paid off because I want you guys to enjoy the content as much as I do. But we're not done yet. Not only did I get both of these sets um, to build for my collection... Marvel also do like a Lego minifigure, like a mystery minifigure pack. You've seen some stuff I've done on my TikTok and um, I have them in my collection. But I also got another mini Lego minifigure um, one for Marvel. I got a one-off one and it blends in very nicely. And it is actually this. And it is Gamora played by the, um, you know, played by the incredible... Zoe Saldana, who's um, Than she's Thanos' adopted daughter, if you've seen Marvel and you know the movies. And her armour... I'll just let me move it across, you know. Her armour blends in quite nicely with Thanos's. So you can have her as a good guy, you can have her as a bad guy. She's part of the Guardians of the Galaxy. So if you've got, not got a Gamora in your collection, pick some of the mystery bags up. You might get one, you might get a few. They're relatively cheap to get hold of. I might end up getting a couple more just of the mini bags. hopefully on the chance that I'll get some. But, you know, I've got three Marvel figures to go with my Star Wars collection, and I'm really impressed. I love the fact that Gamora has got this double-edged sort of spear, sound of double knives. You get a second gold lightsaber hilt kind of thing, so you could easily just, you know, take one of them off, and you could have that as a, um, if I can get it off, there we go. You could have that as like a, instead of having it as a double-bladed sword, you could have it as two individual daggers which i think looks really nice as well so that's a good kind of solid addition um hope you've enjoyed this guys let me know was this a really good idea to do something different was there anything you think that i could have talked about a little bit more with these sets because they are retailing for about 16 to 24 pounds now because they've been discontinued the gamora bag is about i think it's about eight pounds or something like that that i got um let me know what you think in the comment section below i'll post some pictures of this on my tiktok on my instagram and things like that and i will um 
come back to you with some more Lego stuff as the week progresses. So if you've liked this video, please hit the like button at the bottom. Let me know in the comments, what did you think? Was it a good idea to do something a little bit different? Um, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss anything that I post. Hopefully within the next few days, we'll be doing a lot more content. It's just been really busy because of my day job at Easter. It's always a really crazy time for me. Um, so until then, guys, keep collecting. Hope you do have these in your collection. If not, get them. They are really good. I think any Star, um, any Star Wars fan would not have them out of place in their collection because they do blend in very well. And any Marvel fan, it's a quintessential thing to have because you're spoiled for choice. So it's definitely worth at least considering. So until then, guys, please look after yourselves and I shall speak to you all very soon. Take care, guys. Bye-bye now.